Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to understand what is DBMS or database management system and what is RDBMS, which is relational database management system and the difference between both of these. Now, in the previous slide, we have already understood about the database. So let me quickly go back and we have understood here that a database is basically an organized collection of any structured data. So for example, the first name of all the employees in a company, this is basically a structured sort of data or the first name of the employees and when it is stored in one of you know either it's a flat file or it's excel column that could be considered as a database right now the problem with this flat file storage was that if there are multiple people accessing that data uh, there were a lot of issues in that case right so it's more of you know useful for a single person so usually it's a collection of you know one or more tables um, or a table contains rows and columns which you can easily correlate with the excel sheet so that's basically what the database is any data any type of data that you store first name last name numbers or it could be you know the video format the, the images etc so all of things that you can imagine out there on the internet and application can be stored as as data right and then that can be retrieved so if you store that data logically that's what becomes the database it's structured so whether it's in the flat file in, in the excel sheet that is easily retrievable or that you can access if you are just using for yourself a file is enough a excel sheet is enough to store say for example 100 200 records right but when this expands to thousands and millions of records, that's where the database management system comes in picture or the huge databases come in picture so let's understand what exactly the database management system is with example so here in the first example this is say for example you who is trying to save a phone number of hundred of your friends right so you can maintain that in one of the excel sheet or in the flat file and that's easily maintainable because you can on your computer itself this file exists on your own computer and it could be excel file it could be a word document you can open it you can quickly search for the person or for your friend uh, and get the name or number for that particular friend right so this is one of the approach to store the data right so this can be a database okay so this excel sheet you can relate it as a database so now coming to this second example here so if we have some logical data that is there in the excel sheet that we can say or correlate that it's a database now actually um it can be considered as a database but it's not manageable right it's manageable only for a single or two three users but when we need to have huge set of data we need to manage that data properly and there needs to be some system that can manage that data now the data can be stored in tables and columns in similar way that you see in the excel sheet right so it could be there is a software that allows you to create the tables and store the data and that's where the data will, will stay at some in some form of table rows columns etc okay and database management system is the software that will help you to store that data fetch it update it delete it and organize it make it available for end user whenever they need it right so that's what basically the database management system is in very simple terms now what is rdbms rdbms is relational database management system which we will learn in this particular course so relational when we say relational database management system that means that we will be following the we'll be storing the data into tables as we see into the excel sheet and these tables will be there in our database and there will be relations between the tables so the, the data will be stored so for example employee information then employee salary information in another table and there will be relation between these certain tables about the employee data or customer data right so that's what relational database management system is now let's go ahead and see all this in detail with this particular example I'm taking an example of the e-commerce website or facebook.com says social media website right now social media website will have huge amount of data there is lots and lots of people registered on that website facebook.com so that is basically a web application right now you trying to access the web application which is facebook.com right what happens in the background say for example you're trying to search your friends with the name and with some other criteria so what happens in this case 
all the customer or all the user information of facebook.com is stored in the database so this red box here that you see is a collection of logical information so it's just the storage of that information that's what the database is now database management system is the software which helps the web application basically or the which which is an interface between this data and the SQL query so if you write certain queries then DBMS is the software that will help you to process and get that data back or update that data delete that data so DBMS is a software that will help the user to easily manage the data right so that's what database management system is it's a software it's an application and helps you to manage the data very efficiently okay if there are concurrent users so Facebook at one point of time millions and millions people access facebook.com or amazon.com so all those concurrency issues are being handled by these DBMS software now if database management system is a software then what is RDBMS so RDBMS is relational database management system and that's what is the key part of this course so we'll be learning relational database management system so when we say relational database management system it's the system wherein the data is stored within tables right and rows so, and tables are related to each other in some form of way so basically there will be table and tables will have the relationship among them so that's what relational database management system is and we'll be working with the relational database management systems so overall this whole database is is not a standalone entity it basically comes with a software which is database management system or rdbms and then it has the capability to store the data logically and then this software helps us to retrieve or process the SQL queries the query languages and fetch the data or update the data delete the data etc so in the second scenario that you see this whole example here as an end user you are on amazon.com this is that your that is your web application you are logged in and you type in the query find me or basically you just in the search box of amazon.com you want to buy the television so you just type in television right and it returns you all the results right so what happens in the background so that television is being formed or the text is being formed as a query which is then formed as a structured query language passed on to the database management system and then the relevant data from Amazon database or the server database server is being returned and shown on the web application that that's how you see all the televisions being displayed on the web application right so this is you know very raw form of what exactly is database DBMS and RDBMS I wanted to put a little bit light there and not too complicated because if you get into the details of DBMS RDBMS there are so many types and there is not just a single DBMS type because the data can be of different form right so there could be document data there could be you know video data or image data so considering the type of data there can be a different database management software as well or system as well to process that sort of data or to retrieve that data to update that data so there are different DBMS system or RDBMS systems as well now as part of this course we'll be working with MySQL and the focus is to basically learn how you are going to write the queries so SQL queries to fetch the data update and work with the data that is there in the database right so that's all for this tutorial tutorial on what is DBMS and RDBMS. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.